Hi, I'm Emma Louise Cargill. Really excited to be here working on the new film, This Is Jade, The One Hit Wonder. I'm here with the writers and the stars of the film. We've got Mark Noyce. Hi, Emma. And Sean Williamson. Hello. The film is called This Is Jade, The One Hit Wonder. What can you tell us about it? Comedy film. Follows a character called Jade. Um, he was a pop star in the mid 90s with a, um, a duo. Had a massive hit record called Penetrate. Ooh. Um, he decides, massive hit, he's famous, extremely talented, he's going to go solo. And 2013, he hasn't had another hit record since, and his partner is now a superstar. And the film is following his attempt for a comeback. There was only one drawback, though, he wasn't hugely talented, was he? He, he wasn't, no. He, he was more of a, like a Bez uh, from the Happy Mondays sort of, you know, talisman, sort of totem, really. Yeah, his performances were probably more about the dance than the singing. And actually his vocals were actually cut out of the hit because uh, they were off key but he, he doesn't know that. No. So he never even sang on it. He just danced on the video really. <laughs> but he's had a number one hit. How did you come to write the script together? Well I, I'd uh, been invited to be in Mark's previous film called On The Ropes and I, I couldn't do it. I was washing my hair that night, so yeah. it was a shame. Better things to do. No, I, I was very busy at the time, uh, but Mark sent me a, a copy of the film, which I thoroughly enjoyed, and, and I thought for what was a, a, a quite a low-budget film, I thought he achieved some, some brilliant results, some terrific acting all the way through from everybody. So um, when he approached me uh, about being part of This Is Jade One Hit Wonder, um, I said, yeah, we can meet up. So we, we met up for, for lunch in, in, in my village pub, no expense spared, Ooh, he, no. He, he wined and dined me, um, roast beef, um, pudding, um, fine wines, yeah. how could I say no? But uh, he, he filled me with enthusiasm and actually after that, that lunch I went home and actually wrote a scene. Mark and his wife drove, drove back to Cambridgeshire, I wrote a scene and... Yeah, that's what surprised me because we were discussing the story and a few ideas I'd got for characters and things and, and we left and we, we made the drive back which is three hour drive or something. Arrived home, oh, got an email from Sean, brilliant. You actually sent me a scene over, haven't you? In the space of about three hours. Yeah. It's only like two lines, but I... it, was, it was good enough. No, it just fired my imagination, so I just sat at the computer and, and tapped away at this couple of scenes and sent them straight through. And um, we've been firing scenes back and forth ever since, haven't we, really? Yeah, yeah. Been get, getting together, haven't we? Going through like, the, the storyline, exchanging things, as you're saying. You're both also starring in the film. Can you tell us a little bit more about your roles? Okay, well I play Jade, the talentless pop star, desperate for a comeback. Um, so that's, that's, that's my role. Um, he's a nice enough guy, he, you know, he's not, he's not a baddie or evil in this film in any way, shape or form, that's Sean's role. But he just hasn't really got any talent and he doesn't live in the real world, so he doesn't see it, he thinks he's, he's Ultra talented and successful guy, and he isn't really helped by his manager, who's played by Ben Shockley, who also thinks he's the most talented person on the planet. So this just kind of fuels his ego, really. And as I say, he's not really aware of what's going on, and he decides to enter this talent show as a desperate plea for a comeback. Really, there's a lot of people out there like that, like like Jade, you know, who've tasted fame mm. uh, for all sorts of reasons, and then you know. Uh, they're exposed horribly eventually because they haven't got the training or the talent deep down to, uh, to, to sustain a career, let's put it that way. And um, there's a lot of very disillusioned people out there, mainly because of reality TV shows. Um, and um, we thought it'd be interesting to, uh, to tell the story of just one of them. Yeah. My character in this, uh, I play myself, uh, which I've done before for, for Ricky Gervais and Stephen Merchant many, many, many times but always a very sad, washed up version of, of myself. <laughs> um, so I thought, let's get away from the real me. Um, and in, in The One Hit Wonder, I, I play uh, myself, but a quite a ruthless version of myself, very driven, um, very hard. And I start up my own TV talent show on one of the minor channels, broadcast live from Saffron Warden. <laughs> and, um, I convince people that this, this talent show, unlike some others that we might mention, isn't just about the egos of judges and, and um, 
and the like. It's about you, the people at home. It's about you. It's very nice. Yeah, and it's about the contestants. That's all we care about. He doesn't. He just cares about himself. And you see behind the scenes in, into my twisted and, and, and depraved life. Where did the inspiration for the characters come from? Well, the inspiration for me came from my twisted and depraved life. Is <laughs> the real me. I, I was, was impressed with Mark's first um, effort on film on the ropes and, and I just wanted to, um, to be part of his second one, really. Uh, and um, when he pitched the idea that, that, that I could be really nasty, because I never get the chance to be nasty, uh, in, in, in films or theatre or anything, really. And he's so good at it. I'm so good at it. Yeah. So um, I jumped at the chance, and, and I'm having a lot of fun writing it. And my character really started out as something that I used to do at home just to annoy the wife. Um, I, <laughs> that's true. I'd go into these five-minute little sections of being a character just because just it used to annoy Nicky, and I'd do little dances for him, put on little shows on a Saturday afternoon. And it really stemmed from there. Is that what you do to annoy your wife? Yeah. <laughs> I just leave my dirty underpants on the floor or something. So you dance in mirrors? Yeah, put little shows on and things. I sat the afternoon, turn the telly off, sit down, love, I'll put a little performance on for you, put a couple of records on. That's really odd. <laughs> Thank you very much, Mark Noyce and Sean Williamson. Well, Thank pleasure. you. It's the pub open. Must be about now. Shall we? Don't worry.